Hi, it's Tim and Amy, and we are back from Go With Less doing today's video post. Today's post is about why we love Yelp. Do you know Yelp? It's some a place that people, just the, the community reviews absolutely anything and everything. So you could review, of course, restaurants, your hairdresser, your health club, the park, all activities, the doctor, whatever. You can, you can review it. And this is an app? as well as a website, right? That's exactly right. So it's an app as well as a website. And then here's why we love Yelp so much. So I started using it back in 2008. And the reason why I, start, I started using it as a consumer, so I would go get reviews. And I realized that if I was gonna be using it so much, I should contribute as well. So quickly after I got kind of involved in using it, I started writing reviews, and anybody can write reviews. But the super cool thing, and reason number one why I love Yelp so much, is that because I wrote, I don't know, about 40 or 50 reviews a week, and we're not talking not like, a not year. a week, a year. Not, and um, because I do that many, I am what's called Yelp Elite. And so starting in 2009, for seven of the past, I guess, 10 or 11 years, uh, for seven of those, I have been Yelp Elite. When I was working full time, I didn't have time to be doing any of that, so that had to go. However, I've been Yelp Elite for seven years, and it is amazing. And amazing for me as well. More amazing for him, because he is just my plus one, and he doesn't even write any reviews. Uh, but as a Yelp Elite, I get to go to all sorts of events where businesses roll out the red carpet because they know that the people who are coming are big reviewers and so they want to put out their absolute best. So they wine and dine us. Usually it, it, it's, it's often restaurants, but it's not always. We've seen free plays. We've seen all sorts of things. And so this is an opportunity available to anybody. They are predominantly in the United States, but uh, they are a little bit outside the U.S., but predominantly in the U.S. So if you are in the U.S., this is something you might want to consider because it's a great way to go to like fabulous fabulous events often it's you can bring a plus one and depending upon um, how big and busy your community is it may or may not be easy to get into those events because it's actually kind of popular but we go to many a year we absolutely yeah. love them they're all terrific yeah and so I, I have as Amy said I'm predominantly a user of Yelp versus a contributor and so that's uh, not the the best model. However, I've used Yelp all around the country when I'm doing business travel. I can pick places where I want to take clients to eat or where I want to go eat to have dinner, etc. So it's a great tool just to in use in general. In the olden days. Uh, in the olden days, that's right. Back in the days when I was working and taking customers to dinner, uh, that was something that I would use. I would usually often use this tool to find good places to go and eat. And so um, I, I guess something else, one of the reasons I haven't contributed is I, I just, the, the review process for me, it's, it's, it's difficult to write. That's part of the reason we're doing video now. And so it was a challenge for me to, to do the, uh, the reviews. And so something that I just realized is in the app is you can do a voice recording and it will translate what you've said. So you don't actually have to do all the typing. You can just have train of thought sort of reviews. So that's something yeah. I intend to get focused on this year. One of the things that Amy didn't mention is uh, oftentimes the, the really, really, really good Yelp events require that you are Yelp elite to attend. And so I can't no go to some one. of those, no plus one. So all the events that I've ever been to as a plus one are amazing. And so uh, the ones that were, they, they don't allow plus ones are sometimes even better. And so I'm gonna get around to doing some of these this year. And so- We heard it here. There you go. So I, I really, I, I'm very fond of Yelp. And so I, I use it on a regular basis. Many places that I go, uh, I'll take a peek at what the reviews are gonna look like. So. Yeah. And I'm going to talk about number two here, and it's what Tim was saying, but I plan all of our travel stuff when we are out and about. And so Tim book, Tim accrues all of our points and miles, and I find what we're going to do out and about in our, our daily life and in our travel life. And so I use Yelp hardcore when we're traveling. So I use it at home 100%, that's a no-brainer. But traveling, I wouldn't go anywhere without it. And so we have found like the most hidden gems around the country, yep. and we can I can filter by one or two, so you they have from one through four dollar signs. You can filter by all these things, and it's human, it's like regular consumers who are contributing. So this is far from a perfect system. You do need to go and read the reviews. Um, so if, if it has five stars, as a matter of fact, like we went to a restaurant in Tempe uh, about six weeks ago, and it had five stars, and I realized after 
after we ate that it was probably five stars because you got a lot of value for your money. The food wasn't very good, however, you got a lot of food for not a lot of money. Well, that, that's not really, we, we don't, big portions isn't our thing. I know it works for many people, We that's not our thing. So we want really tasty, delicious food that's affordable and the portion, we, we, we don't eat a ton of food. So. Amy said this, and I'm gonna elaborate on this a little bit. So the reviews, so you have to, Amy's a master at sort of filtering through the not reviews. Not always, but thank and you. So, and uh, <laughs> sort of p picking through the reviews and understanding um, which ones are real and which ones may not be so real. Yep. And so it's not always just because a, a restaurant has five so stars dig a little deeper. it has a five star. So you have to maybe dig a little deeper yep. and actually read some of the reviews. If it only has two reviews, well, yep, that, that may could not be, be their a parents. Thing. So understanding how to use the app also is how it's going to be a valuable tool for you. Yeah. So we wanted to share that with you. Please let us know. Have you found Yelp gems in your community? So again, about ten percent, we're like eh. 90% are, are rock star recommendations when we would not have rated, found out. Yeah, we would not have found out about them otherwise. So please do let us know any gems you found in Yelp and maybe you have another tool that you like to use for sussing out little Definitely. hidden gems. We would love to know those. Thanks Absolutely. for listening. Thanks. Please subscribe below and you can follow us at our website at www.gowithless.com. Thanks. Thanks.